Hi everyone, it's Claire and Tina here again today. Um, we're going to be starting off today talking about some FAQs that we receive around the Fast Forward program. The first question that we're going to address is, what skills does Fast Forward target? Okay, so that's a really good question. And when you're looking at a program, it's important that you match the skills that you want to improve with the skills that that program improves. So Fast Forward is designed to improve some core cognitive skills. So in the, I suppose, the main component of Fast Forward, what we call the core programs, they're working on auditory processing or listening skills. And that would include following instructions and receptive language. So things like understanding grammar and complex sentences and remembering uh, long sentences. So very much what you'd be doing in the classroom, lots of listening skills. Also, it's working on attention. It's also working on auditory memory, so memory for things that you hear. It's working on sequencing skills, so being able to order things correctly in the brain, which is really, really important for pretty much every learning situation. <laughs> So you'll notice when you do fast forward that it does involve lots of listening, lots of remembering, and lots of paying attention. Actually, these are core skills for reading as well. So fast forward is designed to improve the foundational skills that you need to be a good reader. But as you can see in the early stages, it's very much focusing on cognitive skills that are needed for all learning. So our next question is, what age groups is fast forward suitable for? Fast Word does cover um, a, a wide range of clients. So typically our students are school age, um, children who are aged six and above typically. We do have some five-year-olds using the program, including my daughter. But yes, six and above would be ideal for participation in the program. Having said that, we do have a lot of adults using the program and increasingly so, uh, we get a lot of inquiries through the brain that changes itself and lots of adults read about neuroplasticity and realize that they've had these difficulties all their lives and now they're in a position where they want to do something about it. And the great thing that we understand now about neuroplasticity is the capacity of the brain to change and develop throughout the lifetime. Once upon a time, these individuals would have been told, uh, you know, at quite a young age that their learning ability was fixed and that they just had to compensate or work around those difficulties. But now we understand that the brain is capable of change. It just needs um, intensity and frequency of, of input. It needs to be really targeted input. It needs to be adaptive to them. So long as all of those, those criteria are met, we can affect changes in the brain at any age. So even if your child is a teenager, um, we have a lot of parents say, oh, is my 12 or 15 year old or 19 year old or my 24 year old still uh, appropriate for this program? The answer is very much yes. Uh, so long as they're willing to do the program according to the protocol and their uh, skill deficits match the areas that the program actually targets, then they would be um, likely a very good candidate. For, and we for have the plenty of adults doing fast forward. And mm. obviously there are different versions of the program. So the version that a six year old would be on is a bit different to the version that a teenager or an adult yes. would, would be on. And you can see examples of those in our fast forward demo video, which we'll uh, put a link to below. So the next question we're going to answer is, what does the fast forward program involve? What does it look like? What does it feel like from a user's perspective? So Fast Forward is a little bit different from some other interventions in that it's not just a game that you play, but it's also not just one-on-one -on -one with a therapist. So what it actually is, is it's exercises that you can do at home, ideally five days a week. So minimum is 30 minutes a day, five days a week. And you can do those in your time. So you don't have to commit to a certain time <laughs> that you're gonna do those. You can choose any five days a week you like, and you just log in. Um, to our website on your computer or your iPad and your games are there for the day. So you can split up the games. You can do some in the morning, some in the afternoon. You can do them all in the afternoon and in one 30 minute block. That's up to you. And lots of people really love the flexibility of Fast Forward. Having said that, it's really important that you get professional support, that we can support you so that you can do the program the way it was intended to be done so that you can get help if you get stuck on anything. And that's what we're here for. Mm. So depending on which support package you choose, we'll provide you with um, the, the support that you need. And you can also contact us by email at any time. So support mm. might look like a phone call, might look like a, a video call, 
text messaging, emails, um, we're here to support you. And I guess one of the things a lot of parents ask is, what is my role in supporting my child in using the program? So we're using the program from home or it might be an adult using the program from home. You're not having to decide the level at which your, your child or your, your training, um, you're not having to adjust the programs because that's all happening based on every click of the mouse or touch of the screen if you're using a computer or an iPad. It's adjusting to the individual and that's probably one of my favorite features of the program that it adapts to the individual specific um, abilities and it's always providing a just right level of challenge. So logically the next question that a lot of people ask is do I need an assessment so you know where to put my child on the program? So in answer to that the Fast Forward program is an intervention. Um, it's a tool that's designed to improve um, skills through targeted training. Having said that it's interesting in that it's constantly assessing where the individual is at to provide them with a just right level of challenge, as I mentioned earlier. Um, based on every click of the mouse or um, touch of the screen, it is adapting the content uh, to make sure that um, the individual masters a particular skill before moving on. And a lot of the exercises have a really important feature built in. Individuals need to achieve three answers correct in a row to move up a sub-level and there are thousands of sub-levels included in the program. If they get one answer wrong, then they'll move back down again. Um, and that is to make sure that they master a skill before going on. And Tina and I were actually having a, a conversation earlier about the fact that in a classroom, that sort of thing doesn't happen. The classroom moves on regardless of whether that child's ready for it or not. And this is, this is a wonderful feature. So if you don't need very long to master a skill, the program will move up and to challenge you. But if you need longer to master that skill, that's okay. And that is one of the very special things about this program is tomorrow it's not moving on if you're not ready. And mm. lots of people who have difficulties in these cognitive areas, they really need that extra repetition and that practice to really improve on these skills. Mm. So the program will give you that. So when you first log into a game, the game will actually explain how the exercise is played and it will train you in how to play that exercise. If it can tell that you know what to do, it'll quickly move up from there. So it'll check, for example, in a following instructions exercise, it'll check, can you follow a one-step instruction? Okay, you can do it, great. Let's move on to a two-step instruction. So the reason why we don't need to do a big assessment at the start is because the program's actually figuring out where you're at every time you're answering a question and adjusting specifically for you. So the next question is, how long will I need to use the programs? Um, and this is an interesting question because it kind of is a situation of how long's a piece of string. Um, it does very much depend on the individual's areas of um, weakness, what your goals are for the intervention, um, and how quickly that individual moves through the content. The typical length of time that we would originally set someone up on the program for is a three month period. Um, we do offer six and 12 month packages as well, though, depending on uh, what that client's individual goals are and what might be most suitable for them. So our goal is for you to complete two core Fast for Word programs, and that typically takes at least three months to do. You are going to be working at your pace, which means that if you need a little bit longer to work on those skills, then it might take you a little bit longer. So if you do enroll in the three month course to start with, you will be able to extend your course after the three months if you need to, and we can work with you to see how you're going with that. Quite a lot of people will spend six, 12 or, or more months with us. So Fast For Word does have two core cognitive skill programs and we need at least three months to work on those. But then after that, we have Fast For Word reading programs as well. So if you would like to take those cognitive skills and work on them in the context of reading, so really target reading comprehension, memory for what you're reading, um, concentration <laughs> for what you're reading, then Fast For Word reading programs are a wonderful option as well. So that's why there's that option to spend longer with us. If you just want to work on cognitive skills and you don't want to work on reading comprehension, then we'll just complete those two core programs. So there are some options there and that's why uh, how long will I be doing Fast For Word is a little bit of a tricky question to answer, um, but basically the answer is at least three months and quite a bit longer if you would like to. So the next question that we're asked a lot is, is there any research to back up the Fast For Word program? 
And that's a really important question to ask when you're looking at, at an in intervention, just to make sure that there is rigorous research supporting its efficacy, particularly for the skills that you're wanting to target. I don't know of another educational intervention that has been um, as rigorously researched as the Fast Forward program. It's um, a program that was developed by neuroscientists and it is something that was born out of a, a research project. It came from people who were researching how the brain learns and researching, okay, what kind of protocol, how does this program need to be used and how do we need to design it so that we can get the optimal results. And this is why Fast for Word has a recommended protocol. It's why it's set up to give 30 minutes at least of exercises per day, five days per week. It's because that's what the brain needs to, to change. Mm -hmm. And the brain can change at any age, but ideally we'll have um, a certain sec set of circumstances under, under which that will happen. And, and we're here to support you as you go through the program to make sure that you're able to stick to that protocol to get the best results possible. Yeah, if, if the program isn't used according to the protocol or if it's not used um, appropriately, say if we have an individual who doesn't use the program very much, then we can't expect to see those sorts of gains. So there have been some research studies that have indicated that the fast forward programs um, don't work, when in actual fact, if you have a look at the way that those programs were implemented, they either weren't supported properly, the individuals who used the program didn't use the, the exercises as they were designed to be used. And in those sorts of situations, you would never expect um, an intervention to show gains. So what we do know is that if you use the program the way it was designed to be used, that's how we're going to get the best results. And we can't really expect results if we say only use the program a few times in a three month period, for example. So that's why we're going to support you so that we can help you stick to the protocol. And it's not actually that difficult because no. it's designed to be fun. Yeah. And actually in the last few years, a lot of upgrades have been made to the program to make it even more fun. Mm. And I'm finding that Kids especially are really responding to those, those upgrades in the program. We'll put some more links to research below so that you can uh, have a look at those if you're interested in the research behind Fast Forward. And the independent research especially. Yeah, so res the research was not only done, you know, obviously in the beginning stages, the research was done by the people that created the program. But since then, lots of uh, people from prestigious universities all across the world. Harvard, Stanford. <laughs> yep, we've got research from, from those universities. Those people who are not affiliated with the program have done studies uh, using Fast Forward as well. So it's important to have a look at the research before you make a decision about an intervention. Yeah. So how much does the Fast Forward program cost? So Fast Forward is a subscription. You can choose from a three, six or 12 month subscription, depending on how long you or your child need on the program. And we can certainly provide some guidance on what we feel might be most suitable in that regard. We've set up the program so that you can choose the level of support that's going to suit you best. So to see current pricing and subscription options, uh, have a look below this video. We'll post a link <laughs> to those there. Uh, so next question is, can I use NDIS funding towards this program? So we have developed an NDIS program, which combines uh, video consults with a professional, say a speech pathologist, along with exercises uh, from Fast Forward. So the exercises that you'll be doing are the same, but the support is a lot more. And our NDIS program has been working out absolutely wonderfully mm. for our, our kids. So, and for adults, we have actually a lot of adults doing it as well. So head over to our NDIS programs page for more information about those programs and how they work. And we'll put a link to that below as well. Okay, so now that I know a fair bit about Fast For Word, what do I do next? So the process is uh, you can either enroll online and we'll provide the link below so that you can arrange that or you can give us a call and we can arrange that over the phone. And it's really easy to get started. Once you've chosen your support package and uh, made payment or set up a direct debit payment plan, you can pay, pay monthly, that's an option as well. Once you've set that up, we'll send you a registration form so we can learn a little bit more about you. You can choose a password. Then we're gonna set up your login and you can start training almost right away. So we can get it set up pretty quickly for you. If you have some more questions, just book a professional consult. That's free. We'd love to have a chat, particularly if we haven't chatted with you before. But if we have chatted with you before and you have a few more questions before you're ready to get started, that's absolutely no problem. And we look forward to working with you soon. Mm -hmm. See ya.